Hi, Laura, nice to meet you. Oh my god, we were raving about your, your character. Oh my god. So how does it feel to play a dread-wearing hippie, um, like, but also a community, community activist I know. person, really? Yeah, I think she's, like, really well-rounded, you know? I mean, she's not, she's a very complex character. So, you know, she's she's a social activist, conscientious, but also, she's also a hypocrite, you know? Yeah. And she's selfish, but she's also caring. So um, I have a lot of girlfriends who are super fans of mine. and. Yeah. They're such fans that they almost want to get too involved. And so oh I really drew from some of my friends. And, you know, I think I think her idiosyncrasies, yeah. sorry, I can't speak. Um, you know, it's it's the antithesis, like it, it's the duality that kind of makes her really authentic. Well, what's great about her is that she's also um, she, she's also she she's in love with Randall, but she also seeks opportunities for herself. Yeah. So how was that? How was the reaction of filming that scene that the trailer of Keanu Reeves walking in, and your character is just like what? Okay. First of all, I didn't have to do much acting in that part. <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. I I get very starstruck uh, when whenever he's around. So. <laughs> That was the best scene though, like it your face is so like... fun. <laughs> so I need, I need to know that too. How do you put dreadlocks on an Asian person? I know, right? Was that real? Or... That was like the magic work of Anne Carroll. Okay. She's the hairstylist that was and she real or... No, it okay. wasn't. But okay. um yeah, I mean that would have been a that would have been a full time job. <laughs> well, you're you play rival to kinda of Ali Wong's character too. I wouldn't say rival. I think we're all lovers. If I could, I'd sleep with both of them, you know? I'm surprised your character didn't suggest that either. I know. I, I think if I sense, I, I think as soon as I met her and when I go for that hug, like I was kind of sensing like, is she into it or not? You know, and I was like sensing the vibe. Oh my God. So what can you tell me about your character in this? What Like, is there any words that you would like to describe her? I think daring and authentic. Yeah, and um, one more. How does it feel to be I'll part be of this major December. movement of yeah. like all Asian American cast in a major film that's like big budget too? Yeah, I'm so honored and excited. You know, I made a film last year um, that went to Sundance called White Rabbit. Yeah, you were great in it. <laughs> oh, thank you. And I mean, doing an indie film and then having this experience of shooting like a Netflix film, I'm like, oh, wow. Like, I, I feel the difference, you know, to have the backing of this giant studio. Um, it was just, it's such an honor, you know, I mean, to be like part of this movement and to, I mean, I, I don't think I remember a time where I've, I've seen Asian Americans in a rom-com or even just like people of color, just like all the characters are like so authentic and it's such a great representation of the real world that we live in. It's just refreshing, even just seeing the people up there on the screen. Well, that's what I love about your character is that there's someone who is like that, that we know. Yeah. So that's and why. And she's not, she's not like, you know, she's not the stereotypical, like, good, you know, or, or the, or the, you know, ingenue, you know, she's like, she's new, I feel. And so I'm really excited to be able to, um, I want to keep creating like authentic new characters that we haven't seen, you know, because, yeah. but that, that we all know, like you said, like the people that we know, like I want to bring them more to the screen. Yeah. Thank you so much. You were so great in this. Yeah, I can't wait to and I, 